Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Kaylee and I recently purchased a couple different wigs. I have been wanting to try a wig forever. So I went ahead and purchased five different ones from Amazon. I wanna say they were all under just about like $20, $23. I originally wanted to wear one every day for five days in this video and then show you guys how they wear, what they look like and just have fun with it. But I tried them on and I have a really big head. They all gave me a headache within like five minutes. So I don't think I'm gonna do that because that sounds like torture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try them on and show you what they look like because they are really beautiful and they feel so nice. The first one I'm gonna try on is the one that I've seen most. I've seen this, like a picture of this girl. She is not wearing a wig, it's just her hair, but her hair is beautiful and it's supposedly featuring this wig and I think it is beautiful and it feels amazing, but again, it's just way too small on my head. This is what the wig looks like on the inside. It just has all the different wefts. It does stretch and expand, so that's nice. And then at the bottom, it has little like hooks that you can hook along this strip here that either tighten it or loosen it, depending on how big or small your head is. So that's very convenient. However, I keep mine on the very last one and it still is too tight for me. So if you think your head is about the size of mine, these might not be the way to go. <laughs> okay, let me adjust it. Okay, so this is how it looks on. <laughs> the hair itself is really cute, but it is not, not realistic in the least. I think the hair, if you were just to see this, or if this was an extension and your hair could blend out this awful hairline, then this would be really cute and honestly like could look pretty natural. I think if I went in and like cut some pieces in the front, like some fringe to frame the face and tried to pluck out some hair so that it wasn't so thick in the part and in the front, it might look a little bit more natural. But I think I'm gonna try to rehome these wigs because they just, they don't fit right. But she's cute. She's giving me Sofia Vergara, Vergaria? I don't know, she's giving me Sofia vibes. If only, maybe if I had like a hat. That is cute. Yeah, see it's already giving me a headache just cause it's pulling along right here. But anyway, so this is wig number one and she is long. Maybe I'll try and dye my hair this color. This is really cute. So I ordered five wigs, but only four came in. One of them is late, so that's a bit of a bummer, but hopefully if it comes in before I upload this video, I can still add it in at the end. But right now I have two short wigs and two longer wigs. One of the longer wigs has bangs, the other one does not, and you just saw the one that does not. And then same thing for my short wigs. I ordered one short wig, or I have with me one short wig with bangs and one without. Since I just tried on the long wig without bangs, I'm gonna try the short wig with bangs just to kind of switch it up. The one that I didn't get in yet is pink with no bangs. So hopefully it comes in later. So this is the one I'm gonna try on next. It's a little bit more curly, which I love. This is so cute. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is so soft and so beautiful. And I don't mind it so much when the hair itself is shiny down below. But what bothers me is when the roots are shiny like that because that just looks really, really fake. What's interesting is that this one, since it has bangs, doesn't even have a part line. It just has that swirl on the top of the head, which to me also makes it look a little bit more fake because I would never not have a part. Even when I have bangs, I still have a part. But she's cute, you know? I like it so far. This one looks relatively the same as the last one on the inside. All of the wefts are sewn onto a mesh lining on the inside of the cap. And then again, it has the same little clips that you can place to make it tighter or looser. So here's wig number two. She's all right. I can't say she's my favorite. I like the last one better. I don't think I would recommend wearing this daily, but also this one is significantly tighter than the last one. And the last one already like was pinching my head. This one is so small. 
The only thing I do really like is that the bangs are fairly long. I don't like them right now because they are getting in my eyes. But the nice thing about having long bangs on wigs is that you can always cut them to the length that you want them versus if you get the wig and it's too short, there's literally nothing you can do. Um, so that is nice, whether they intended it to be like that or not. I don't know. I like that I'm getting to like see myself with bangs because I was actually thinking about cutting them. I feel like once a year I go in and I chop my bangs and then immediately regret it. But every year, repeatedly, I do this. And I know I'm not gonna like them, but I still do it. So having a, ha a wig with bangs on them might help me to not chop my hair off. I don't like how this curls right here. That is a really weird shape on the top of your head. I'm not a fan of that. And I feel like it needs to be just like a little bit shorter. All right, let me try on the next wig. So now I'm gonna try on the long wig with bangs and she is purple. I love pastel hair, I think it's so cute. That is her, she is long. She looks exactly the same as the first one, same clips, same wefts, everything. This wig is helping me live my best anime life. Like, look at that, so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this wig so much. Ah! I definitely think the bangs help to make the wig look slightly more realistic. I'm not saying that this looks like it's growing out of my head at all, but I think this looks way better than before when I had that blunt line of just like really thick hair in the front. Wow, this is so cute. I am officially obsessed with this one. I think she is so cute. Since all of these wigs are pretty small, they all have like, a half an inch gap on either side of my head because I have to put them further back or else they literally don't fit. Big head problems, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try the next one on. I was just taking the last wig off and I realized as I'm like struggling to take it off and it's pulling out my hair, I realized there's clips on the top here. So this one is not exactly like the other ones. The other ones didn't have this. This one has a clip on either side of like the fringe in the front, I guess just to help keep it in place which it definitely did because I was struggling. <laughs> the last wig I have right now is this really cute silver wig with this purple moment at the root. This one again does not have any bangs and looks fairly similar. And then the bottom has the same clips as before. This one though, it's interesting. It has one little clip at the top and then nothing on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one on. This is the last wig. She is definitely not my favorite. I just think She's extra shiny on the front here, on the top, um, and it just looks really fake. That along with the really thick blunt hairline and part line, it just looks super unnatural. I suppose if I really wanted to, I could go ahead and cut some fringe and maybe pluck out some of the hairs at the part line so that it wasn't so blunt and dense, very thick. But yeah, this one does not fit in the slightest, but this is the last wig. She'd make a cute Halloween costume. So it is several days later, but I finally got the last wig in the mail. This is what it looks like. I love the way it looks. This is beautiful. The curls are honestly like perfect. I think this is the same brand as the brown one also, the very first wig I tried on. The top is like this dark, almost black root it's not quite it's almost like an ashy gray color then it fades to a lighter gray pink color and finally like a nice pastel pink down below so i really like this one i wish the front was like a lace front or maybe had bangs or something that wasn't quite as harsh as this super thick hairline also this wig was the only one that came with a hair tie it's kind of an interesting looking hair tie, not one that I would ever choose for myself, but I mean, it's practical. It'll do the job. Okay, so I just pulled the wig back and I forgot to show you the inside. So she does look like every other wig, basically. She just has the different rows of wefts and then of course the little place to clip the hooks to make it tighter. So this is what the wig is looking like. 
I really like it. I think it's really nice. Honestly, it feels super soft. It's not too shiny, so I don't think it looks that fake other than the hairline is extremely dense. I feel like this could be relatively passable for real hair if you had like a hat on or I don't know, we're amazing at making wigs look natural. I don't know if it's because I didn't hook the um, the strap in the back on either side. I just left them hanging. Maybe that's why this is loose, but this one feels like the largest wig out of all of them, which I am here for. I don't think this one would give me a headache. It feels great, which makes me curious about the other ones. If I had just unhooked the little strap in the back, maybe they would have fit better, but I do think this is still too small because it still does not come to the front. Even when I pull it, it won't meet my hairline on the side. So I think I do just have a really big head, unless there's a trick to the sides that I don't know about. If there is, leave it in the comments, help, help me out. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but yeah, this is it. So something I forgot to mention earlier, but all of these wigs did come with a wig cap, so you don't have to worry about purchasing one separately. So yeah, I think my two favorites were the purple pastel one and this one. I love the color of the first one, but it was so tight that I just couldn't enjoy having it on. But the purple one and this one for some reason fit better and I just think are so cute. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.